What's up ladies and dickheads? How you guys doing? Stopping here, getting some fresh sex juice in the old beautiful DR200. Just gave her a fresh semi-synthetic lube job, aka some Castrol Activo oil change. And you know, I noticed the gas, the sex juice is like right about here at the mid sex juice marker. We're gonna top her off. Hi, can I please do uh, five doll hairs on three? Five doll hairs? 87. For those of you 10 heads, uh, I figure I'm cool just running 87 in this bike. I have no issue running it and that's what it calls for. But when you do bigger jetting and all that, what would constitute you using a higher octane gas in a bike like this? Or would there ever be any instance where you would do that? I'm not, I'm not five head enough on that kind of, uh, that kind of, uh, knowledge there. But what I am five head on is making sure every last dribble of sex juice gets in that damn tank. So, we are literally going to get more, uh, registration tags right now. So I'm quite literally going back to AAA, and the vehicle of the day today is my 2012 Chevy Malibu. Yay! The car I literally would never drive if it, if you know, Franny wouldn't be taking it. Franny's been driving that car for like the last what six months to a year now. I don't even know how long. Oh shit! That little dog's about to be a fucking shit cake. All right, now that we're making our way past the last drop lookout here in San Bernardino, we're going to be heading down the baseline. We're going to take baseline all the way down because that literally takes you completely to the AAA. Damn, so uh, me and Franny had a hair in our asshole to go uh, to eat some Korean barbecue. And around here in the Inland Empire, unless they just don't show up on Google Maps, I only know of like one that's kind of like remotely local and it's in like Rialto, a Korean barbecue spot. And I'm going to keep it 100p, which y'all, it really ain't all that great. But uh, we ended up looking for some other ones. And uh, I came across one that was in, it was off the 15 and the, and Foothill. And it quite literally took the pedestal of the best Korean barbecue I ever had. What the hell is this guy doing? He's wearing a blanket like a cape while carrying an empty jug. Alrighty then. But, man, if none of y'all ever ate Korean barbecue, you really really need to try that shit out i, I it's it's quite literally got to be some of the best food i ever 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 had and for those of you that are unfamiliar with it basically they usually are they're set as all you could eat and uh you have an entire menu of food and meats you could choose from my personal ones i like to get is the brisket the the thinly sliced brisket that's like the creme de la cream pie for me right there uh my girlfriend likes the, the bulgogi i like bulgogi but it's a little uh a little too much for me in terms of like like taste but this one ironically it tasted really good most other places it just tasted like that little sauce was like too sweet or something you know what i mean dude there's been some stupid car crashes on baseline lately and down here so i'm keeping my head on a fucking swivel oh yeah so you order your meat and this one even had all you could eat sides and everything i'm tripping on that and then on top of that, most Korean barbecue places I go to, when you get your meat, like my brisket, they'll put they'll put like two little rows of brisket on your plate and you're kind of having to order over and over. These use these dudes put this much. They literally give you an entire platter of the meat. But that one we went to, it ran, it was called You Grill, I believe it was called You Grill Korean Barbecue. And um, I believe it ran, it ran $20.99 a person. And it's all you could eat. And I ate two plates of that brisket, and uh, I got a thing of thinly sliced pork belly. It was all literally top tier. Literally all orgasmic. And then uh, once you get your meat and everything, you, you simply have it brought to you, and you got that grill that you saw in front of us, and you, you literally grill your own food, and you just make it yourself, and it's extremely good. So you can't fuck it up. Oh, what the fuck? We got San Bernardino sheriffs going out to the encampments over there. Uh-oh, they're about to fucking kick all those people out, it looks like. They're probably shitting their asses out right now. Dude, the cops are thick today. Holy 
shit. I've seen five of them already. And all I've been doing was going fucking a little bit down baseline so far. Viet Hung Seafood Market. Mmm, they must have some, some fat meat. Damn, wacky inflatable arm falling tube mad is a little wacky today. Can't even stand up straight. Adult XXX open 24-7. I wish I could put a tour of that place on my videos. You can only imagine how disgusting. I bet you walk in there and your fucking feet feel like you're stepping on fly traps. Jeez, that burger shop is just straight donezo at this point. Man, that thing went under fast. Damn, look at that fucking... Is that a blazer? That fucking convertible truck? That was clean. That thing looks sick as fuck. What the fuck, another one? Yo, how do I see that twice in a row? A few moments later. Yeah. All right, another $153 uh, down the asshole. All right, now it's time for me to get some fucking raising canes for me and Franny. This shit sounds fire. I don't know why I was craving that shit this morning. I always see these like San Manuel public safety things driving around. Are they like full-blown law enforcement of the reservation or something? Or are they like glorified security guards? Oh, look at this nice guy. Giving that guy a literal whole plate of food. Yo, let's get let's get a let's get a clap for that Giga Chad right there. Let's get a clap for that Giga Chad. <laughs> that place is called Tips Liquor. <laughs> Fucking tips liquor. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if he's a tip liquor or he just his name is Tips and he likes selling liquor. Could be either or really. Maybe it's a double sided sword. He sells liquor and he and he and he's a tips liquor. Ironically, a block away from a fat cock. Went down to appliance depot, saw a lot of bitches. Holy shit, that lady's Toyota has a bullet hole in the door. Like a full-blown, without a shadow of a doubt, bullet hole. Right on the fucking driver's side door of it. Did that dude try to rev, rev at me and then lose his gear? <laughs> I just heard, and then I see him going, oh shit. Oh jeez, this light's just completely off, like just out. Yep. I can I can see an accident happening here, dude. I don't care what anybody says. Raising cane sauce is like literally the most orgasmic shit. I'm about to fucking have all kinds of squirts on that shit right now. I like how that bus sign says all secondhand smoke is harmful because I know how many crackheads and shit are around here. Dude, what a place for a couple houses right there, just surrounded by fucking office building and on a damn industrial road. All right, here we are. Bill, you got it, dickhead. Got my combo with my extra cane sauce. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. a cave down there and somebody like turned it into a living quarter that was insane dude i am literally slow dick mcgee right now i'm quite literally going slower than i do on my grom and ironically this is freeway legal but that goes to show just because it's freeway legal doesn't mean you should be on the freeway good thing i put fresh oil in it son it's got a fresh oil change in it oh, sorry buddy i have to go in front of you so i can be in the slow lane I'm gonna get off right here because I'm pushing this thing to its fucking limits on the freeway right now. The freeway's a little too fast right now for me to be cruising right now. There's just like little like cut arounds right here. I'm about to find out. I've never been through here. What the fuck is this? Our memories will never fade. 
Oh damn, it's just like a fucking drop down into there, okay. To that open field. Probably one of these shittiest motels around right here. Oh yeah. Oh my god, look at how gross this place is. Just fucking like cum stained mattresses galore. Oh, that is just absolutely disgusting. Oh, there ain't no way to get through here, so. Oh, we got an unmarked right here. Oh, it's probation. Nice bike, shit beer! Well, ladies and dickheads, I'm about to stuff my cock holster with some raisin canes right now. Appreciate you guys hanging out with my little ride here, going out to get my tags and whatnot. As always, all links will be down below if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, getting my shirts, keychains, stickers, etc. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the ah! out of that like button. And you guys have a, a real good day. I'll see you guys later. Twin!